Moho is one of the best, if not the best, 2D animation software products available to run on the PC or the Mac. If you're interested in Moho, you can check into Smith Micro at moho.smithmicro.com and find all the information on the product. Now, there's no doubt that Moho is a complicated product, and that's one of the reasons that it's so hard to learn. But then again, that's not surprising. Think about it. You have a single user interface that is meant to support illustration, rigging, and animation. It's hard to make an interface that supports three different things, but Moho pulls it off, which makes it a complete professional 2D animation package. Now there's another thing I need to share with you and that is that Moho is expensive. In fact, at the time of this recording, there's a sale going on. Moho comes in two versions, Debut and Pro. The Debut package you may be licking your chops over because it's currently $35, while Pro is $240. Which would I go for? I'd go for the Pro. Why? Because Moho Debut is basically a toy. They've stripped it of so many capabilities, one of them being a restriction that you can only have up to two minute animations, which completely removes it from the realm of creating decent animations. So for me, Debut is out and it's gotta be Moho. That means that eventually you're going to be spending $239. Don't spend $400. So in this course and subsequent courses, I'm going to talk exclusively about Moho Pro. I think you should get Pro. And what I recommend you do is this. First, get a 30-day trial of Pro. I guarantee you're going to fall in love with it. Then wait for a huge sale. Smith Micro seems to have them constantly, and I guess 40% is the biggest sale now. And when it goes on sale, buy Moho Pro. Don't bother going to debut and then upgrading later to Pro, because I know you will. And that's the expensive route to go. Now, what I want to talk with you about is the animation workflow, or what are we talking about? First, you have to have a story to tell, and then you illustrate it. You actually draw the figures that will be animated. Next, you do rigging, which makes it easier to animate by adding bones that control multiple points in your illustrations. Next, you re usually record audio and then do lip syncing for your characters. You add scenes and backgrounds and props, and finally, you do the animation. So it's a bit confusing to call it 2D animation when there's actually so much involved. Now, before leaving you, I want to leave you with five big pieces of advice. This is what's going to hang you up in using Moho constantly. First, save often. If you go up to the file menu, you'll find save, save as, options for naming your file, placing it in a directory. It's going to be a .moho file. Save it at big points where you're about to try something new and potentially dangerous. Next, control Z is your friend. This is the undo function. You can use it to repeatedly undo steps that you made an error back to a good point and then go forward. Using a combination of undo repeatedly and if you undo one too many steps go ahead and do Control shift z or go to the edit menu and pick redo to redo a step that you didn't mean to undo and the combination of saving at major points and undoing when you make mistakes during a multi-step process will keep you on track next is keyframe zero it turns out that while you're illustrating you need to be on keyframe zero. That's the timeline down at the bottom. Now what happens is while you're illustrating and actually rigging, you have to be in this green area. You need to pull the playhead of your animation to zero. Zero is out of play. That's where you set everything up. That's where you illustrate, that's where you rig. Keyframes one through N or Infinity is where you animate. So you can see this big blue animation area. Make sure your keyframe is on zero when you're illustrating and rigging and make sure that your playhead is on keyframe one through whatever, what you want to set an animation for when you're animating. The next thing that's going to make it mess you up is layers. No matter what program I use that involves layers, it's always layers that's at fault when you run into trouble. So this is, I've exploded the 
uh, tools menu and the layers menu. Now the tools menu is in the upper left hand corner of the screen, the layers menu is in the lower right. Notice that I'm on a bone layer and as a result bone tools show up. If I go to a drawing layer, layer one of the kidney bean shaped layers, a vector drawing layer, drawing tools will show up. So if the tools are wrong, if something's wrong, what you always want to do is you either want to check your keyframe, make sure you're on zero or one if you're animating, or you're on the wrong layer. Watch out for those two big errors. And the final thing I want to mention is the library. It contains a lot of fully illustrated and rigged characters for you to use, so you can actually skip those steps if you want to get directly to animation. Now, this course is going to cover this overview of Moho, and then we're going to get into illustration and drawing shapes, refining them with accelerator keys, stacking order and layers and groups, and then finally, we're going to, I'm going to show you a demonstration of tracing a character, my favorite way to illustrate. From there, we're going to move on to rigging, adding and binding bones to a character to make them easy to control, and switch layers and smart bone dials that allow you to control multiple options for displaying an illustration component. Finally, we'll get into animation, which involves lip syncing, basic animation, and using cycles to repeat an animation, and we'll end with the conclusion. Wow, that's a lot. And remember, this is only the introduction. The following courses include Moho Pro Illustration Rigging and Animation for Beginners and Advanced. So keep your eye out for those courses. And up next is going to be the section on illustration. I'll see you there.